Thank you everyone for subscribing to Infinitely Productions. This just in on Fox 29 News Report. The article states, Chickies and Pete's Brawl, Philadelphia Police Sergeant Assaulted, Arrest Made. This was reported on August 3rd, 2024, around 1 p.m. A Philadelphia police officer was punched in the face multiple times while working to break up a brawl outside of a popular South Philadelphia restaurant. Friday night, police responded to Chickies and Pete's on Packer Avenue and found two groups of people engaged in a fight following a family gathering. Officers attempted to disperse the crowd, but the fight continued. A Philadelphia police sergeant attempted to detain one person that was identified as an instigator. That's when police say that person resisted arrest and struck the sergeant in the face four times. Police say the sergeant defended himself and became engaged in a physical struggle with the suspect on the ground. Officers eventually got the suspect in handcuffs and took him into a nearby hospital to be treated for facial injuries he sustained during his struggle with the sergeant. Police say he was taken to the 1st District to be processed for charges of assaulting a police officer. Three other people were also detained and issued citations for disorderly conduct due to the fighting. This concludes the article of the Fox 29 reports on the Chickies and Pete's fight that took place in South Philadelphia from the Fox 29 News Report. According to Fox 29's Dave Schrapweiser, he specifically said on his Instagram channel this breaking news. Philadelphia police say a brawl outside Chicky and Pete's Friday evening in South Philadelphia left a waitress assaulted, a top-ranking Philly mobster knocked out, a Philadelphia police sergeant pummeled, and multiple charges filed against a 30-year-old South Philly man. Police say the wife of a Philadelphia mobster was also arrested on disorderly person charge. After the dust clear, sources say the assaults and fight were captured on video and police body cam video. Detectives are investigating. The main assailant remains in custody awaiting arrangement. That was from Fox 29's Dave Schrapweiser, who's currently retired but still does some reports every now and then. Now, he specifically stated that a Philadelphia mobster was knocked out. However, he does not give any names specifically. Hours later, Kathy Cingolini, the wife of John Cingolini, has made her post Instagram public. She specifically stated that John Cingolini was not knocked out. She does admit her involvement when it came to the advice that occurred, as you can see in this video. Kathy Cingolini is the wife of John Cingolini. John Cingolini was the son of Joseph Chicky Cingolini, who was a member of the Philadelphia Crime Members and was in one of the high ranks, especially during the Nicky Scarfo era. He recently passed away last year, and his sons were known for their violent out war that occurred during the 1990s, which we have covered in past videos. We will eventually do a bio on each individual, but in the meantime, this is what Kathy Cingolini had to say. 
Yes, I jumped out of my car and swung a pipe on a piece of shit that f***ed with one too many of my nieces. No, Johnny Chain did not get knocked out. The only person that got knocked out was a girl because they don't have the balls. I swung my pipe, hit a few, and got arrested. Hashtag, don't F with my girls. That is the statement that Cappy Cingolini has made to the public. There are many different disputes to what occurred in this fight between Chickies and Pete's. Some sources claim that this took place in the, during the daylight, and then there are some sources that claim that it took place at night. There's only so much of the video we could prove due to YouTube policies since certain VODs cannot be shown, and the more altercation that the violence occurs, therefore it will be blurred. However, you, we do recommend that you look at the full video from its original source on WTF Philadelphia via Instagram. That is our suggestion. Some have spec that John Cingolini was involved in some of the violence. We do not exactly know exactly what the origin was. Some are making reports that the owner of the store had made an altercation with John Cingolini and Captain Cingolini's niece, and therefore was led up to a whole brawl that led into the altercation. There has been no official report. Once again, these are allegations that's being made, that's being circulated across social media and other different platforms. If you feel that there are real reports and facts to this investigation, please bring your sources to our attention and we'll make sure we make note of it in other future videos. But right now, this has been the recent breaking news that has occurred since last night on August the 2nd. And there are more videos that we presume that will circulate. In the meantime, we'll be covering more Philadelphia stories that have occurred in the recent breaking news. Until then, see you next time. New details about a fight that led to an assault on a police officer at Chickies and Pete's in South Philadelphia. It happened at about 7 o'clock last night at the location along the 1500 block of Packer Avenue. Officers took two men and a woman into custody on disorderly conduct charges after a fight inside the restaurant. In the parking lot, an officer then tried to detain a third man they say was visibly intoxicated and belligerent. They say that man, identified as 39-year-old Joseph Baldino, punched the officer repeatedly during a struggle. Baldino was taken to a hospital for treatment and was later arrested for assaulting an officer. We're told the officer suffered minor injuries. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on what we should do next in the comments. This is Infinite Lee Productions. We love ya.